Yeah, Roger, Roger, Kilo 5, Bravo, Tango, X-Ray, Victor, Kilo 3, Charlie, Mike. Um, yeah, you're a good 5 and 5, but yep, QSB, very typical 29.6. Um, uh, just running a um, uh, IC7850 uh, and uh, just an 8-element OptiBeam. Uh, not running any huge power at the moment, uh, about 40 watts. Uh, go ahead. Good stuff. K5, BTX, VK3, Charlie, Mike. Uh, conditions are up and down a bit at the moment on 10, so uh, uh, we can try again a little later, but, uh, yeah, good to make the contact, and um, uh, certainly uh, uh, we're, we're probably hearing you a bit better. I'm, I'm running a little bit lower power at the moment, but um, uh, you certainly are coming through beautifully uh, for sure. K5, Bravo, Tango, X-Ray, 73s from Victor, Kilo, 3, Charlie, Mike. All the best, my friend. Seventy threes. Well, I didn't expect that on ten FM. Conditions aren't great, but we'll take a contact. Let's just put another call out. See if anything comes back. Victor Kilo three Charlie Mike uh, beaming short path into the USA uh, on twenty nine point six VK three Charlie Mike. Victor Kilo three Canada Mexico calling CQ on twenty nine point six FM. Look, I don't think um, conditions are quite as good as we'd like them to be. That was worth a go, though. Let's have a look. What's happening on the other end? Oop. Always good to see what's happening on 10. Now, I'm beaming to the US with uh, eight elements on the OptiBeam at the moment. Um, and I think conditions might have been better earlier. Yeah, it's not too bad, but yeah, signals have definitely been stronger. I wonder what that signal is up there. Let's have a look. Nothing about a scope, isn't it? Because I had the uh, the Kenwood equipment, I, I got the TL 922. A little stronger. And uh, they really did a very nice job on the uh, packaging of the TL 922. And that had the 3 500s uh, tubes as well. Um, and you can't kill those tubes. Um, it's really great. So um, I never got the Drake L4B, but I always admired, admired it, uh, Frank, over. Yeah, they were a brood of a, uh, an amplifier. Yeah, that's, um, <clears throat> this is local here. Hang on, what's up here? Certainly, the condition's actually not too bad. Uh, I mean, not this, we're normally seeing a lot of, you know, 20 over stuff at the moment, so it's come off the boil a bit there, but, um, Let's have a look. Um, one, two, one, two. Just got to actually retune my. I don't really need to tune that antenna to be honest. Let's just check whether that's going to be okay. One, two, one, two, one, two. BK3, Charlie, Mike. Yeah, I might have to. Just because I've got it on tune, um, I'll just go up the band a little bit. Let's just have a bit of a look here. What's that coming in at? Yeah. Let's power up a bit to give it a... Yeah, that's a bit weird. Uh, just realised we're on the wrong antenna. That'll do it every time. I must have switched antennas. It's alright. We were actually on a, um, a vertical then, so... So I've got the beam pointing over. Um, Oh, which really makes me wonder about that FM contact, actually. If we're on the vertical of when I thought I was on the beam. Huh. Someone in the background there. 
One, two. Victor Kilo 3 Charlie Mike, 28,490. Someone in the background, we couldn't quite pick that up. Yeah, there's a Bravo Victor Bravo station there, but he's a little bit light on. Victor Kilo 3 Charlie Mike, VK3 Charlie Mike calling CQ on 28490, beaming short path USA. Oh, I might be able to just get him. Whiskey 6, Bravo, Victor Bravo, fairly light copy, VK3, Charlie Mike. Oh, let me... Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike, VK3, Charlie Mike. Nah, he's a bit too marginal. Conditions are definitely up and down like a yo-yo at the moment. Whiskey 6 Bravo, Victor Bravo. I'll try you a bit later when conditions hopefully improve. Unfortunately, the conditions are right on the edge at the moment. So um, 73 is from Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike. Uh, we'll try again a little bit later. Yeah, so not, not as exciting as I thought it might have been on uh, 10, to be honest, at the moment. But um, as my old mate Steve... Um, VK3 NFS and 3 SMW, they, they do a lot more 10 than I do, and uh, they tend to suggest uh, earlier in the morning is better for sure, and then later in the afternoon, but um, let's have a little look back up the band a bit. There's a little bit out there. In the Pacific Northwest Love Portland. The uh, let's see. Let's go. Bang, bang. Uh, where's it? There. Bang, 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 bang. No. Oh, no, I'm going to have to set this again. As you can see, I keep 27 here. It can't transmit there, but um, I keep 27 there. It's, it's my guide to see how the band's going. <laughs> if, if 27 starts coming up, we go right. Uh, let's have a look here. It's just curious to put one more call out on FM, so it may not have been on... Oh. I normally keep my power on FM, about, about 40 watts is fine. You're either going to make it or you're not on FM. Power is not the solution, I can tell you. VK3 Charlie Mike, Victor Kilo 3 Charlie Mike. Victor Kilo 3 Charlie Mike, CQ, memeing short path USA. Vic Victor Kilo 3 Charlie Mike. Uh, just give me that call sign again. Sorry, just a lot of QSB at the moment. Um, uh, I got to your Southern California. What was the call sign? Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike. Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike. Uh, CQ on 29.6 FM. I do like FM when it's going, but it is difficult to, to work when conditions are so right on the edge like this. Last call, Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike. Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike. Calling CQ on 29.6 FM. Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike. Victor Kilo 3, Canada, Mexico, calling CQ and listening. Oh, someone's trying or something going on there, but I just can't. Uh, just come again, this is Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike. Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike.
Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike. Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike from uh, Victoria, Australia, calling CQ 29.6 FM. Heard somebody in there, but just uh, QSB uh, killed us. No, I think the band is not going to look after us <laughs> right now. All right, well, very interesting. One last call. Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike, last call. Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike, VK3CM calling CQ 29.6 FM, uh, pointing short path into the USA. Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike calling CQ and listening. No. Look, and just to give you an idea of what I was saying before about how we use um, 27 megs, um, what I tend to do is do this. I go to AM would help. Have a look at this. This is the difference. This is the difference. Now, as you can see, if I hit transmit here, nothing. Yeah, click, click, and nothing. <laughs> um, definitely not modifying this one. This is a fairly expensive radio. Um, and uh, but have a look at that I mean and even if I go up to you can see on the band here I go up to 085 wow he's on 075 to be fair he was strong my goodness I wish I could transmit but no not very legal on this thing <laughs> My goodness. These guys are pretty serious about what they do on AM, aren't they? I think we're going to call this video um, 10 meters versus the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's a consistent signal. This guy, I mean, when you look at 29.6 and we were battling to get through with guys, you know, I mean, but these guys are running some huge, huge power through some huge antennas uh, from what I've been made aware of. Um, I'm no Super Bowl expert, but I'm certainly encouraged to see incredible signals like this when, when the band, I think, is not really that open. It's huge. What's up here a bit? It's the old AM call channel. These guys are strong. Where's my mate Pete? You should be on here. <laughs> He'll probably hear you today. Although the beam's not pointing your way, I suppose. These are these are actually small signals. This is why we're having some trouble on 10 meters, because if these guys running 20 kilowatts are only coming at five and five, it's when they hit five and nine, five and 20 over, and then you start to say, hey, 10 meters has got a really good go. Goodness, a lot of stations, though. Are these five and six consistent? Well, they're running a little bit of preamp, too, to be fair. I should put these in memory, shouldn't I? It'd be easier. Just seeing if it's starting to build up or not, but um, believe it or not, this is fairly average results for the Super Bowl. It's 
Still some reasonable signals, though. My goodness, hard to work anything out, isn't it? Alright, well there you go, that's an interesting sort of um, look at the difference between the 10 metre operation uh, on FM, a little bit of sideband but we didn't get too carried away there, um, and um, unfortunately I can't obviously show you transmit here without going to one of the CB radios, um, and I, I, I think we'd have um, a pretty average result if we did that, even with the beam, uh, with the low power. As I said, these guys are running some tremendous amounts of power. See that building up there? They're not short of stations. I think that's the thing we need on 10 metres is just more people monitoring the band and, you know, to be able to operate. It just it's just phenomenal how many stations I mean I mean not any, not everyone's interested in what happens on the Super Bowl but you know as a propagation indicator it's a huge indicator for me look at this And when I say that people are running, you know, multiple amounts of kilowatts, um, I'm not kidding. They, uh, I've seen some of the photos of these stations. These people are having to put electricity supplies onto their place, upgraded electricity supplies to, you know, to run, you know, 200 amps plus. Keeping in mind there are 110 volts over there too, so the current is different. But, but even an 80 amp supply on a normal Australian household ain't going to run some of these amplifiers. <laughs> Bit of trivia, the largest um, or second largest user of, of electricity in Victoria used to be the Shepherd and Radio Australia. Um, so just 100 kilowatt amplifiers running 24-7, they uh, used a bit of power. So you can imagine these Americans are using quite a bit. All right, well, we're not getting sort of, it's just it's not getting a standout. My goodness. Interesting to listen to. All right, thanks guys. Interesting to just look at um, 10 meters versus uh, 27 megs here. I, I just, just I'm amazed at the activity on this, uh, on this band. That was pretty clear. And you can hear from one side of the US to the other there, different stations from the East Coast to the West Coast. To, uh, you got to say, uh, it, you don't get a much better propagation indicator than, than having a bit of a play down here. Oh, look, I'll be here all day if I keep listening to this. All right, guys. 73s and uh, yeah, a bit of fun having a look at um, 10 metres versus the Super Bowl. I, uh, I can tell you which one's more active, <laughs> that's for sure. Cheers all, all the best.